we're going to be reading S Stalin by Starlight. Chapter 1, Ring of Truth. I've loved looking at your notebook, Annie said. It helps me remember all your of, of our inventors. She turned a few pages on a polar bear. In the Arctic, the cubs were so cute. And Poppy and the volcano. Oh my gosh, I remember. Fur curls. Yep, said Annie without looking up. It was warm day in June. Jack and Annie were sitting on the front porch of their house while Annie thumbed through his notebook. Jack was reading books about giant pandas in China. Ooh, said Annie. She flipped through more pages. The ghost hunt in the wild west. The invisible piano player. Remember? Annie turned. Yep. Annie turned another page. Remember? Australia, the baby kangaroo, the coat, and the the nose and the forest fire. Jack look up. Yep. He said, look, look, that's all cool, but I can't talk right now. I'm trying to read my last page of my book. You're going to need a new notebook soon. And, and this one's almost full. Annie closed the notebook and put it in Jack's backpack. She stretched. I think I, I'll go for a bike ride. She said, maybe stop by the library, go to pool. Jack closed his notebook. Done. Now I need something new to read. I'll ride to the library with you. As he pulled on his backpack, Jack caught a sight of something out of the corner of his eye. He, he turned and saw he saw was incredible. A small penguin standing on the sidewalk in front of their house. Penny said, Jack said, Oh, cried Amy. Oh, 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 she dashed off the porch. Jack ran after Amy. They both kneeled down beside the little penguin. What are you doing here? Amy asked. Jack picked Penny up and he and Amy stroked the penguin down my head. Hey, what happening, Penny? He said, why are you here? He, the treehouse, said Annie. It must be back. Hey, guys, Jack and Annie's dad called from behind the screen door of their porch. Jack, Annie quickly jumped in front of their, in front of Jack to hide the little penguin. What is it, Dad? She said, I just made some fresh lemonade, their dad said. Thanks, said Annie. We'll have some at, we have some as soon as we come back. We're heading to the woods in a few minutes, said Jack. Okay, it will be in the fridge, their dad said. Thanks, said Jack. i see you later. Let's go, said Annie, holding Penny in her arm. Jack hurried with any down the sidewalk. Did you come here with Ted and Kathleen? He asked the penguin. Peep, is that yes or no? Asked Jack. Peep, yes, said Jack. No, said Annie at the same time. I guess we soon find out, said Jack. Jack and Annie crossed the quiet street and headed to the Frog Creek Wood, and they hurried through the dampening line. The air smell of summer squirrels curl up the trees. The crow called to another. When Jack and Annie came to the tallest oak tree, they stopped. The, the tree was nestled, dangled a long rope ladder, dangled down to the ground. Ted Catherine shouted Annie. There was no answer. So you came here all by yourself? 
Jackson? To Penny, is there something wrong with Camelot? Are Ted Catherine okay? What about Moreland or and Merlin? Let's go. Jack ain't setting. She started up the rope ladder, still holding the little penguin. Jack awkward climbed after her. Oh wow, setting when she reached to the treehouse. Oh wow, what? Asked Jack. He holds Penny into the treehouse, climbed it after her. Then he whispered, oh wow. A old man with a white beard pointed pointed hat covered in stars. A red cloak stood in shadowy corner. Merlin reef Amy. I see Penny found you, the master magic of Camelot and said in his spiritual voice. The little penguin waddled to Merlin and stood beside him. Yes, said Jack. She she came right up to our house. Is something wrong in Camelot? asked Jack. No, it's all fine, said Merlin. Your friends are well, I decided wanted to visit you myself. Cool, said said Jack shyly. Merlin had never come to Frog Creek all by himself. Let me tell you what is on my mind, said Merlin. I have been thinking deep thoughts. Pounding que- I have been thinking of deep thoughts, pounding questions that wisely men and women have pounding through the ages. Pounding, said Amy. Pounding means to think carefully about subject. Ask said Jack said right right he asked Merlin exactly said Merlin said Merlin I have been pound, pounding question about life for instant I have been wondering about the ideas for of greatness what are secret of greatness what makes a person truly great? That's a good question, said Jack. I can't, I can't an- answer all by myself as I do not live in your world. The world of time murder, said Merlin. So each of your next four missions, you will meet someone who, who will learn a true greatness. That sounds like fun, said Amy. I hope it will be said Merlin to begin to begin how would you like to meet someone called Alexander the Great oh man I heard of him said Jack I haven't heard of I haven't said Jack but he sounds well great Merlin smiled can I ask a question Jack said of course said Merlin to be practical how will we know when we found a secret greatness. Ask Jack. Ask. I found that as I well said, Merlin. I have brought something magical to help you. The magic and reach into his cloak, pulled out a small gold ring. I call this ring of truth. The ring of truth. Amy, I have cast a spell. On the ring, said Merlin. Where are your journeys when you discover a truly greatness? The ring will glow. May I wear it? Any asked Merlin. He nodded. Any held out her hand. The the magic hand slipped the gold band onto her finger. I have brought another bit of magic. Well, said Merlin. He reached to into his cloak again and this time he pulled out a tiny glass bottle ship silver mist swirl swirled inside of it mist gather of the first light of the day of the new moon on isle avon's st merlin wow st amy 
The magical mist will allow you to experience the greatness yourself, Samuel. When you need help, make a wish to have an extremely talent. Then he breathed a sense of the mist, and for only one hour, the talent will be yours. The magic will only work once each on each journal. Thanks, said Jack. Then he took the bottle from Merlin and put it in his backpack. And finally, Morgan asked to give you a research book. The magic can read into his cloak the third time for a book. I never heard of magic, said Jack. It's the kingdom where Alexander was born, said Merlin. Anxious mountain of fears, warlike travel cautiously. Fears warlike? Jack wanted to hear more. Merlin picked up Penny and raised his hand to farewell. Go now, he's, he said. Good luck. Bye, Merlin, said Ain. Peep, wait, began Jack. Before he could ask another question, Merlin and Penny vanished. Let's go, said Ain. She pointed a cover of the book. I wish we could go there, she said. The wind started to blow. The tree house started to spin. Spun faster and faster than everything was still. Absolutely still. Alright. Chapter 2. We, we will be continued. Bye.